So this is the, uh, we're in the western interior area of the Brock, so you can see that lovely curving wall obviously. And then what we're looking at on the ground is one of the floors of the Brock in this western area, this western room as defined by various uh, uprights. And over here we're looking at a hearth, of course that's this big, very heavily heat affected fire cracked slab, which obviously at one point in time was a whole slab that has now smashed to smithereens by the impact of the heating that's taking place directly on its surface. And surrounding it is a whole series of paving, there's some quite substantial paving as well. Nice bits of paving. They don't necessarily have the nicest looking set to them. They're not set in a, in a really lovely flush manner. And in fact, we suspect strongly, I think it's more than a suspicion, that this is a really quite a late floor within the overall sequence in the broth. This hearth itself, um, although it's substantial enough, there's indications around the edges of it that there's a, probably another one underneath it. It won't be long now before we actually lift this slab and uh, we'll be ready to have a, a look underneath that and to look at the earlier hearth if there is one underneath it. But it certainly feels and seems like it is around the edges. You can see other stones that might well be part of a, actually a more formally set hearth. Paving in the western side of Brox is quite a common thing. If you look around some of the, the uh, back catalogue, as it were, in the literature of Brox, you'll often see earthen floors around the east and southeast areas, and then more slabbed floors around the western and northern hemispheres of the interiors of Brox. Having said that, this is at this moment in time, this is so late on that I don't necessarily think this, this has any reflection on the original layout inside the Brock from you know shortly after it was constructed. Having said that, the fact that this is more paved and we have more earthen, more uh, soily floor deposits yeah. elsewhere may be an indication that uh, they're, they're maintaining this business of having uh, more more slab floors on the north and west and more earthen floors in the east and southeast. We can go and have a look at the earthen floors now because uh, Ross over here is excavating them at the moment. So we're simultaneously blessed and uh, cursed uh, with beautiful weather the last few days and we're blessed because it's great for morale and it's great for being able to make headway with the excavation uh, but the downside to it is that these lovely beautiful greasy organic rich floor surfaces um, dry out very rapidly so we have to try and cover them and sometimes we're spraying them with water as well to keep them wet but you can see Ross is revealing more of these lovely greasy very organic -y floor deposits and this is what I mean by these softer floor deposits earthen floor deposits that we have in the south and the east side of the rock itself.